Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks, and I love an easy project that I can help somebody. If you look, he's making an ornament with a person's name, and he says when they when he welds it. So what I'm going to do is take the outside circle and just get out of the way. And sure enough, he's got the name turned into a curve, which you need to do. If you select and go and weld it, the name disappears. So always try the other weld tools. My suggestion would be front minus back on this one, or back minus front. I'm gonna go with front minus back, there we are. Put this back, smart fill it so we can see what it's gonna look like when it's done. Now I'm gonna take it a step further. He's evidently pretty new to laser engraving and this might help him just make it look a little bit better. Let's make a duplicate of the name and nudge it over, okay? And now let's actually Take this and nudge it over, but we need to make a duplicate and nudge it back. So now let's back minus front this one, and we won't even have to move our circle yet, but now let's do what we want to try the other way and go front minus back. Now we just have those two parts. This is probably the easiest one I've ever done. These parts are gonna be the part that's gonna be on the cut line. So I'm gonna take and this is just my preference, the way I would do things. Grab these two, right click, and break it apart. Take the virtual segment delete key and delete that line. Do the same thing over here. Grab those nodes, right click, break apart. Try not to get that one. Right click, break apart. Take your virtual segment delete key and delete those lines. Now, what is gonna happen now, we're gonna take these two lines, and there's two ways you can look at it. We could engrave it, we could make it black. And if you're an engraver, you wanna use RGB and make it black, and then make it something other than a hairline. And you could engrave that. Put that over there and look, it's gonna, it's gonna look really cool on the item. It's gonna make the word more readily um, readable. Now, the smart fill is going to just go over those lines because we got a break in them. But let's make it yellow and then let's put the yellow to the back of the page. And look at that. Well, the yellow is gone, but you're going to, and I must have missed, uh, stepped something right here. Um, I cut out one too many lines. Let's back up here. And because we made those copies, no, I don't think I did. Let's move that back. Oh, I see what I did. It needs to be cut right there. This is part of the outside. So take our virtual segment delete key and delete that right there. Now that's all going to work. Now, what I would do, personally, I would keep that a hairline and change it. Um, if you're a laser engraver, you really need to think about changing this to RGB. You're, you're going to get a truer black, and, and I found that works a little really good. Now what I would do is group this together. I think it's already grouped together, and I would nudge that back over and group this together. Control G. Now on an ornament, you're gonna need some sort of top and then nudge this over. Put it in your laser bed. We've got a little problem. I think I've got a feel. Whoop. We got several fields, take away all the feel. Well, let me back up here. That's one thing good about Corel, you can always back up. We shouldn't have any fields, but I did not draw it, so I don't know. Yep, we got a white field on that circle. So let's take away the white field. Now, bring the circle over 
and bring this over. And that's the way it's going to look like after it engraves. But it'll take just a little bit to engrave this, but if you make this a hairline, and I have made probably 10 videos on this exact subject, put it up in your laser bed where you're going to run it and grab that black line and nudge it out off your laser bed. Take this one and nudge it off your laser bed up. Nudge this back. Run this on a vector cut at 100 power and 50 speed. It will not probably cut through your wood. If you do, you have a great laser. Then run that and then nudge that over. Now take this, make sure you grab all of it, and run this at your normal 100 power, 10 speed, 15 speed, 20 speed, whatever you use to cut the wood. You know, if it's eighth inch alder, you probably cut it in 15. If it's plywood, it probably takes 10. Eighth inch plywood. That way, if you did this first and then this, this thing could fall out, these pieces. Well, it shouldn't. The outside circle will stay in 10. Now let's fill this in, and that's why I couldn't fill that in yellow while I go. So this is what it's going to look like. Go to object, order, front of page. So that's what it's going to look like in wood. That It'll just make the letter look a little bit better. It'll still be strong, still be holding. And if you need help putting a hole in there, a lot of people just drill a hole with the laser. And that could be one way to do it. I prefer provide, actually, I'm like, let's just do one real quick. Let's move that over. Let's uh, control G to group everything together and put P, put in the center of the page. Get you whatever size hole you need, you know, say 0.125. Hit P, put it in the center of the page. And then just manually, holding down the control button after you move, and just kind of put it right in the middle. We still have a fill somewhere. And that's probably because I was filling it in with, you know what? I bet a smart fill tool is, no, he's got nothing there. But let's take our hole, put it to the front of the page. A fill isn't going to hurt you. Wow, this is kind of weird. Let's take the yellow box trick again. Fill it with yellow. Put it to the order back of page. We don't have a fill. Why is that circle not showing up? Ah, I probably colored it yellow or white. So that's how you would get it in the center. I prefer actually putting a half circle up here and a circle in, but this will actually hold it if you want to hang the ornament. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.